guys, we're gonna do lesson over twenty one twelve Oracle, uh, which I think is the fifth part. And so it's just gonna start out, and this is the chord. It's that's the seventh fret of the G, the seventh fret of the B, and the fifth fret of the E. You play that, and you move it down. Everything down two frets, so it's five on the G, five on the B, and three on the E. Then just play regular D chord. And play, go back to the chord you were at before. The five on the G, five on the B, and three on the E. Then move up to a D chord shape, which is the fifth fret on the G, the sixth fret on the B and the fifth fret on the E. And go back to that other shape that we just played, which is fifth on the G, fifth on the B, and third on the E. So that whole sequence right there is once you get right there. You just go second on the G, second on the B, and open E. So the whole sequence one more time is. And then when you start it over again, you play a D chord shape, which is seventh fret on the G. 8th fret on the B and 7th fret on the E. And then just go back to what you just played. And so on. Then it'll stop, stop on this last chord. And then you play the part. I stand atop a spiral stair. And it goes like this. G, D, C, G, D, D sus4, D. That's going to be second on the G, third on the B, and third on the E. So you switch from D to that. Okay, and then you're gonna play C, F, C, G, A, D, A. Okay, and once you get done playing with that, it's gonna go into this little power chord part. That's a B power chord on the second fret of the A string. And you go to a G power chord, it's the third fret of the E string. Then an A power chord, which is fifth fret on the E string. Then you're gonna play this whole sequence of power chords. It's gonna start on the fifth fret of the A string, which is a D, then a D flat, which is the fourth fret of the A string, then open A power chord, which is open A string, and then second fret on the D. And then a B power chord, second fret. And you just do it again. And then once you get done doing that twice, you're going to play C power chord, which is third fret on the A string, to D power chord, which is the fifth fret on the A string. To an A power chord, which is fifth fret on the E string. And then you're gonna come up here, and you're gonna play a high G power chord, which is tenth fret on the E string. Then a F sharp, then an E. So then play an open G. Then play the D to D sus four. So that whole part's gonna go. And back into that again. Yeah, 
long ago the other way still on and go Oh, do tear the temples down Oh, do change And that part's gonna be 2nd fret, B power chord 2nd fret on the A, which is a B 3rd fret on the E, which is a G 5th fret, which is an A No, wait Hold on, back up a little bit. Then you're gonna play a fifth fret on the A string, which is a D. Then you're gonna play open E power chord. To tear the temples down, don't you change. Okay, then it goes into the next part. Uh, comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.